Okay, we're back live at Strata Conference in Silicon Valley. Uh, this is where the big data show and conference is changing the world. Big data is uh, really making an impact, not only at a technology level, but also at a society level. And siliconangle.com is all the coverage. Go to that site and you can get all the news from the event, as well as uh, all around the tech, uh, tech industry, cloud mobile and social, where computer science meets social science. That's our motto. I'm John Furrier, the founder of siliconangle.com, and I'm joined here with my co-host. I'm Dave Vellante of wikibon.org. This is day three at Strata, and we're here with uh, Cube alum, Arun Murthy from Hortonworks, uh, co-founder and, and one of the lead architects there, so uh, welcome back. Thanks a lot for having me. It's you know, a pleasure, as, as always, you guys are doing an awesome job covering Strata. Thanks Thank you it. very much. Yeah. So uh, we met on the Cube last fall. Mm -hmm. um, you guys were, you know, came out. You know, when we were here a year ago, right, John? There was you know, we were, we had some folks on. We said, "Geez, there's not a lot of competition at the platform level." And all of a sudden, all this competition came out, which is great for the user community. Mm -hmm. You guys have taken a, a really unique strategy, and we've been covering that like crazy. What's changed since we uh, talked uh, at Hadoop World? Um, in a lot of ways, you know, we've. We've learned a lot, we've been in the market now for you know, another four or five months. We've talked to a lot of customers, we've got a lot, a lot of great feedback. As you guys know, Hornworks data platform, which is HTTP1, has now been in tech preview for a few months, got great feedback, and we're really, really looking forward to you know, having a GA product in, in a matter of weeks at this point. And also it's really exciting to you know, get a lot of validation from the market. Um, you've seen our, the partnerships we've had with Microsoft and Teradata. It's really great to get validation of you know, both our business strategy and our open source strategy from you know, really key partners like Microsoft and Teradata and you know, also Talent. Arun, I want to, before we get into some of the, um, the geek talk, what's it like now at Hortonworks? You guys were a fantastic startup story, obviously. Um, you guys were at Yahoo, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, Yahoo's been in the news for all, and all the, you know, the news organizations trashing Yahoo for their, you know, the whole turmoil at Yahoo, but you know, Yahoo's still a massive company, massive pioneer in Hadoop. You were there, um, all your co-founders were there. Um, you guys came out of Yahoo. Cloudera was the only game in town. You guys came out, both contributing to Hadoop in a big way. Mm -hmm. um, the dust has settled. The, the community is vibrant and growing strong. You guys have funding from Benchmark, which is no stranger to uh, open source and competing in, and doing well. And you know, they're not uh, you know, a, a hack of EC firm, they're pretty solid. Um, what's going on with the company right now? Tell us from, as a founder, a co-founder, uh, you know, what's it like and how do you feel and what's the team look like and just what's the, what's the vibe at Hortonworks right now? You know, like I said, it's been a really amazing learning curve. I mean, we've been at Yahoo for six years doing Hadoop, right? And we did you know, a lot of work. We did, learned a lot of stuff in terms of technology. But when we come out, it's actually been great to learn about how people use Hadoop outside. And for us, it's helped us to actually improve our understanding of Hadoop itself in some sense. And we've been focusing on improving Hadoop, not just for you know, you know, the average you know, enterprise, but also for the you know end customer, which is you know you see a lot more consumer-facing startups using Hadoop now. You see a lot more you know social guys use Hadoop now, like you guys pointed out. It's been great to learn from these guys and help them use Hadoop better and better. Um, you know, the fact that now you know people use Hadoop to actually do geo research to predict earthquakes is amazing, right? It's you, we feel as an engineer you're actually making a real difference in the world. Um, you know, it's not just about getting. You know, better ads in some sense. It's about making a huge difference to the world, and that's actually exciting. You know, I was talking with Eric, uh, your co-founder, who was the CEO. Now he's back to doing the product stuff, and you know, Rob's taking over. Mm -hmm. You know, he's an operating CEO. You know, it's been a, been a success. Um, that I'm really excited to say that. Uh, you know, I want to say you congratulations and some of the things that uh, I was speculating about Horton Works uh, may or may not make it. Uh, you know, I was wrong, and you guys have have done well. And the market's changing, so you know it looked like Cloudera was the, the only game in town that they were the leader. They're still doing great on the revenue side and, and stuff with, with uh, Hadoop, but you guys have really played uh, above the fray in terms of high integrity. You kept uh, kept the messaging really within the community. Kind of kept peace, you know. As you, you quote the Godfather, you know, you kind of kept the, <laughs> kept the families in order. Um, but more importantly, that aside, congratulations to that, the market's Thanks. changing. Here at Strata, the big message and that we're sharing with folks is that there's a huge diversity of, uh, of applications, so it depends, uh, you know, to use a pun, you know, depends on what, what view of the elephant in the room you're taking, mm -hmm. uh, there's a different upside, right? So we're hearing Avi Mehta talking about applications. Absolutely. You're hearing people talking about business warehouse, business intel data warehouse and business intelligence, pure play Hadoops, as Jeff Kelly pointed out. So given that, it's, 
there's a lot more room for you oh. guys to operate vis-a-vis -vis Cloud Air or anybody else, Vertica. So yeah. what's the strategy technically? You guys are coming out and building your code base. Uh, where are you guys settling in on your go-to-market from a tech standpoint, and what's that going to do for the community? So, you know, we've been extremely clear about this since day one, right? I mean, if you looked at, you know, like the Hadoop Summit, which we actually came out last year, right? We've been very clear that anybody who, you know, collaborates with us, or with the community, effectively, right, on Hadoop is a friend of ours, right? It doesn't matter if it's Cloudera or anybody else. We, 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 our end goal is to make sure that Hadoop progresses, because at the end of the day, to be honest, if Hadoop doesn't progress fast enough, nobody's going to be in business, right? So we are very focused on making sure Apache Hadoop uh, and the whole ecosystem right, moves forward. And as a result, anybody who you know, wants to collaborate with us is a friend. And you know, it's something we've been very clear about since day one. And we're glad to see that you know, the community and the market has taken that message well. And you know, there's been, the community has made a lot of progress in, in that space. So, so, okay, I totally buy that and endorse that 110%. Honestly, mm -hmm. more Hadoop. Better Hadoop, everyone wins. Jeff yeah. Hammerbacher from Cloud Air even said that, hey, you know what, competition's a great thing and more people doing stuff on Hadoop is better for everybody. Right. Okay, that being said, open source is great, we love it. But there's always enabling opportunities on top of Hadoop. Yep. We're seeing an application surge. Absolutely. What are you guys doing with Hortonworks? Because we're seeing Cloud Air's revenue numbers, as Jeff Kelly did in the market sizing report on big data, which you can go to wikibond.org slash big data and look at the numbers, their revenues are really strong. And so they had a very successful add-on with their, with their proprietary enterprise thing that's not necessarily part of Hadoop. Mm -hmm. You guys are going to do services, you've been clear from day one, mm -hmm. but there seems to be other opportunities out there with the tech that is not so much forking the code, it's just an enablement. What are you guys looking at there and what's the story? And you know, that's, that's a great question. And you know, an example for that is the work we're doing with both Microsoft and Teradata, right? We're helping these guys, you know, Work, you know, work with Hadoop in some sense, and as a result, that's a, actually a great revenue stream, right? To work with Microsoft, Teradata, and you know, the things we're doing with Talent, for example, will make sure that it makes Hadoop easier and easier to consume for the average enterprise. So we're definitely, in terms of technology, at this point, our strategy hasn't changed. We're still going to be all open source, all all the time. Um, we think that partnering with folks like Microsoft and Ta Talent, I mean Teradata and Talent, will actually help, you know, a nice revenue stream on the side. That's yeah, fair. Yeah. So what? So what's your core focus right now? When dig into some of the projects yeah. you're working on, obviously making the code better. What specifically are you got, you working on? You share with the folks out there. So primarily for the last 18 months now, actually, my focus personally has and that of my team has been on next gen MapReduce, as we've talked about it at Hadoop World, right? So we f we see this as an opportunity to make Hadoop a really really generic, you know, data processing platform. To move it just beyond MapReduce because there's so much demand out there. Once you, I mean, the bottom line is there's going to be a lot of data on Hadoop, right? There's going to be a lot of data, and once you have that variety of data, you're going to have a variety of applications which need to use that data, and those applications can't be just MapReduce. So as a result, um, having next-gen MapReduce and you know focusing and making it really stable and solid, uh, we put out a blog post a few months ago which talked about how. Um, at this point, we're actually better than Hadoop 1 in performance on pretty much every single dimension. That's pretty scary given that we rewrote all the code in the last 18 months, right? And it's been a lot of work. <laughs> and as an it's engineer, a lot of code. it's a lot of code, it's a lot of work. But so we, we, we're actually excited to be you know, near the end of the tunnel at this point. Hortonworks is a pretty amazing phenomenon. I mean, you think about it. Here's this company that hasn't even shipped a 1.0 product yet, and you've got all this buzz in the market. Um, I, I guess part of that is because you guys are the good guys, right? right? I mean, you're giving back to the community, and the other part is you got this unbelievable pedigree. Um, but you've super glued yourself to Apache Hadoop, and, and that is another, I think, interesting phenomenon. I have not seen this kind of buzz around a company that, again, hasn't shipped a product. I mean, it's, I got to go back to, in my brain, I was thinking Next, when Steve Jobs <laughs> started Next. You, know, you don't probably have that much buzz, but um, it's quite an amazing uh, phenomenon, as I say. And, and because you have super glued yourself to uh, Apache Hadoop, people I think associate things like next gen MapReduce very much with your activities. Yeah, I mean, there are two ways of looking at it, right? I mean, one is we've, we have this pedigree because we've contributed in the community for six years now. I mean, Hadoop started in 2006 and pretty much most of this team has been on Hadoop since, since day one full time, right? So we have built up a lot of um, history with the community. And, you know, in some sense, you know, Hadoop's available, right? You can download today, you can you know, run it, you can download it for the last six years now and run it. So what we've come out and said is, look, if you can use Apache Hadoop, 
and you have you need you, need, you have a need for either training or support, we we can help, right? So in some sense, we've had you know, of course it's Apache Hadoop and it belongs to the ASF, but we've had a product out there. But again, like you pointed out, HTTP has been in uh, tech preview for about four months now, and we've got some amazing feedback from you know a lot of you know customers, and some of them are actually running it you know in semi-production effectively at this point. So we've got a great feedback, and you know we're co working continually hard to actually you know put that back in into the ASF. Um, and you know, get Hadoop better and better as we ship our GA product. I mean, it seems like you've, at least I, I, my sense is you got some pretty patient capital because you guys have been pretty clear that you're going after the services side of the equation, Absolutely. which is not not the fastest way to flip a company, obviously. Um, and then, of course, everybody talks about the Red Hat model, and Red Hat was left alone for a long time to do its own thing and bake. And mm. so, is, I mean, is that right? I mean, do you feel like is it co correct assertion that that capital is patient that that there's a long roadmap ahead here. I mean, absolutely. I mean, you know, we've got a great sort of investors, you know, Benchmark and Yahoo and Index, right? And everybody has been very clear that this is a long-term play, right? We see that Hadoop is going to change, you know, the way you process data and the way you store data and big data is changing the industry. So if you think of it as a long-term play, then, we've, you know, it's, it's been great that we've had investors who've been willing to be patient with us because they know that, you know, this is something you can do for a long time. Right. Yeah, now, it's of course, a, it's a long play. Of course, in this world, I'm not sure how we define long term. But, you know. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but, you know, used to be in decades, but yeah. maybe now it's not defined that yeah. way anymore. Yeah. Uh, so let's get into a little next generation mm -hmm. MapReduce. Um, you know, we, we everybody who, who comes on the cube and has a new idea and, and is trying to sell a, you know, an enterprise version or an enterprise edition saying, oh, it's not enterprise, you know, Hadoop's not enterprise ready. We're going to try to make it better, et cetera, et cetera. It's not real time yet. What's next gen? MapReduce going to do for all this? So that's you know exactly you know, been our focus, right? The, the two parts is you know so far Hadoop's been only MapReduce, which means it's only been batch, right? Now clearly, like I said, there's you know, once you have so much data on the system, right, which is the file system, you have to be able to process it in you know different kinds of ways, and whether it's batch or real time or MapReduce or you know you know more stream processing or whatever it is, right? So as a result, we've known, we've, it's something we've seen for a very long time, and you know we've invested in this for over 18 months. So if you think about it, it was you know well before we came out, it was you know we saw these problems even at Yahoo, you know you know 18 months ago in some sense, right? So we feel really, really confident and really excited about the fact that next gen will actually change how people perceive Hadoop, right? So so far, the perception of Hadoop has been you know something you do at the back back end, right? As a result. You know, with HDFS getting better and better, HBase getting better and better, and MapReduce itself, which is you know another piece of the core, getting better and better, we are really excited to see, you know, the different kinds of applications which will come on Hadoop. I mean, we talked to a lot of sys SIs, and they're excited about taking their existing applications and porting it to run within Hadoop, as part of NextGen, and that is something you know we we feel that we'll see like an explosion of you know innovation and applications. In MapReduce, and we're already seeing it, you know, among the customers we talk to, among the you know folks we talk to, and we we're ex we're confident that we'll see more and more of it in the next you know 12 to 18 months. And that's yeah. an exciting time. So when you look toward the future of, of Hadoop, I mean, we talk we talk a lot about the nitty gritty and the uh -huh. infrastructure, and, exactly. and do you see that, that conversation shifting to applications? I mean, look down the road three or four years. What do you think the conversations are going to be like? Because they're going to be much different than they are today. Absolutely. I mean, today not many people talk about Linux, right? Because it's taken as a given, it's a platform. What people talk about is, you know, the applications on built to top, which are the databases or, you know, what have you, or, it's, you know, the application or the processing engines built on top. So we feel that as, as long as we can make Hadoop, you know, so stable and solid and, and reliable and performant, We'll see more and more of the applications. You know, folks like Prasada are a great example, right? They, they're taking something which doesn't exist, a banking application, and putting it run completely on Hadoop, right? As a result, you know, the end user doesn't really know or care that you're running on Hadoop. But we want to be the we want our vision is to make sure that Hadoop can be that, you know, next gen, you know, our enterprise backend effectively, if you will, right? If we can do that, I think you know we'll we'll be in a you know, great shape, not just us, but also the whole Hadoop community. Arun, we're, gonna, we're getting the hook. Mark wants to give us the hook, but I don't, I don't want to give up the microphone because we have some annoying questions for you. But uh -huh. two, I have two questions. Um, HBase, 
big, we, we believe in HBase. We were talking before you came on, obviously we're using HBase in a big way for Silicon Angle's backend data, data project. Mm -hmm. um, but here at the show, it's exploding in terms of, wow, it's becoming kind of center stage. You're no stranger to HBase. Mm -hmm. Are you surprised by that? Not surprised? Um, we're hearing it being the de facto on top of uh, HDFS and it's going to be, be the play. Why is HBase so popular? Are you surprised? Can you share with us your perspective? And then I want to talk to you about Hadoop Summit. Yeah. So, I mean, in some sense, it's not really surprising because HBase is you know, pretty much going through exactly what we saw with Hadoop, right? I mean, I was just joking somewhere that the first Hadoop Summit we had in 2008, we had 300 people show up, right? <laughs> Today you do a Hadoop Summit and you'll have at least 3,000 people show up, right? So, in some sense, we're really excited to be supporting the HBase community as they take HBase and you know, make it you know, a real Real changer. I mean, HDFS is a file system, but the ability to do, you know, something more real time on top of it. You know, the fact that you can draw a dashboard, you can draw monitoring dashboards, or you can draw, you know, the Twitter feed dashboard. You know, trend it with Twitter or whatever it is, is something you see a lot. Like application, that's that's a real application where you see HBase really shine, right? So. HBase doesn't surprise me at all, and we're very, um, you know, honored in some sense to work with the HBase community to actually help them get HBase. Where's HBase going to go from a product standpoint? Obviously, there's a lot more work to do. Mm -hmm. um, is it uh, is it product ease of use? Is it more tightly coupled with UI work? Or what's the re re forecast in your team's eyes around HBase? Um, you know, this HBase is. There's definitely you know, a lot more performance work. There's a lot of you know innovation happening in terms of features. I mean, with HBase 094, I think you get coprocessors, which are a really big deal if you're writing new applications, right? Coprocess is big. I'm sure, and also the HBase community at this point is also getting more and more focused on multi-tenancy. Again, that's massive if you want to be in the enterprise. Um, you want to make sure a single user or a single application can't you know harm a single you know your HBase cluster and so on. So there's a lot, lot more work on HBase. I'm sure the community is, you know, focused on it. Um, what was the second part of your question? Um, Summit. Hadoop Summit. Summit so yeah. obviously you guys are running Hadoop Summit, mm -hmm. and uh, we'll be there with the cube. Absolutely. Thanks to your support. Mm -hmm. um, What's it going to be like? Is it more deep dives? Because there's been some technical people here that I've talked to in the hallways and said, you know, it's too many suits and not enough deep dives on tech. Is it going to be more techie? Is it going to be like Strata? Hadoop World was rolled into Strata mm -hmm. from Cloudera. Mm -hmm. So obviously O'Reilly's taking that over and it seems to be much more of a uh, application focused conference, not a tech geek, mm -hmm. you know, drill downs. Mm -hmm. They've done some, like Ed talked sure. about that earlier, mm -hmm. uh, that they are doing some drill downs in key proven areas. Mm -hmm. But it's still uh, an emerging community. What's the strategy for Hadoop Summit? Um, so the strategy for Hadoop Summit is basically it's going to be run by the community. I mean, if you look at you know any of the programs, you know committees or the chairs or whatever, it's going to be out of a wide variety of the ecosystem. Um, you know, definitely Hardworks and Yahoo are you know pleased to host it, but we definitely want to make sure that it's more of a community event and everybody feels like they're a big part of it. Again, being you know this is going to be in Silicon Valley, so there's going to be a lot of focus on tech. But again, it's be a lot more focus on you know a couple of the one of the interesting things is I don't see a lot of focus on the operational aspects of Hadoop, and we've actually been um, we're trying really hard to make sure we get a lot of focus on the operational aspects of Hadoop. A eh? and it's also you know data science and uh, business intelligence and so on. It's going to be tracks on each of them. Um, so it's going to be interesting, fun. It's really yeah. a good, good mix of both tech and you know operations, and also you know business. Yeah, I actually got heard some good feedback from people in the community saying that we're looking forward to Hadoop mm -hmm. Summit for you know to learn more, not so much use cases, but really get into the operational and tech details. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, we're looking forward to it. Um, it's at the San Jose Convention Center, which absolutely. I think will be a. I mean, this is a great yeah. conference, right? But yeah. as John said yesterday, it's, uh, give it an A except for the venue. You know, <laughs> San Jose Con Convention Center is going to be a little bit more space. Yeah. So we're really excited to have the cube yeah. there. And, uh, and we'd love to have you guys, you know, yeah, stream well, all of it. Thank you very yeah. much for, yeah, right, we're talking about that. Yeah. And uh, where there's a will, there's a way. So uh, yeah, exactly. uh, we'll try to make that happen. So all right. Arun, thanks very much for coming uh, on the cube. It's a lot. great pleasure Absolutely. having you on Pleasure's again. And, uh, yeah. Great. Arun is the co-founder of Hortonworks. The leader in Hadoop, he's got a background in Hadoop, really pioneering this whole team at Yahoo. Between Hortonworks and Cloudera, that is the core tenants of, in terms of vendors out there, funded startups, really driving the commercialization of Hadoop in a good way. Great community, obviously this show is, to me, is a testament to the success of the Hadoop community, and you know, that is really all a testament to the work that you guys and your team are doing with Cloudera, so congratulations. And I want to just 